I knew I should have never bought that old phone. It was an antique, a collector's piece, a vintage Nokia model from the 90s, which was way before my time. But being an avid lover of all things old and obscure, the offer on the local online marketplace was too good to resist. As I turned it on, it hummed into life. It had no SIM card, no access to the internet, just the old pre-installed games like Snake and Space Impact. I spent the evening indulging in the nostalgia that was never mine, and then went to bed. Late into the night I was jerked awake by a harsh electronic melody. The old Nokia was ringing. The caller ID read unknown. I thought it might be a prank or a wrong number, but the ringing didn't stop. Finally, curiosity getting the better of me, I answered. Hello? There was a static sound, then a crackling voice. Welcome, new user. We've been waiting for you. I laughed, thinking it was a prank call. Who is this? Silence, then a dry chuckle. You'll find out soon. The call ended abruptly. I shook my head, laughing it off. But the peace of the night was shattered again by a text message. They're coming. I frowned, feeling a wave of unease wash over me. Who was playing this prank? I ignored it, turned the phone off, and tried to go back to sleep. But I couldn't ignore the ringing that started again. This time a string of texts followed, each more chilling than the last. Don't ignore, they're close. Look outside. Do you see them? The unease turned into fear. I jumped out of my bed, moving to the window. Outside, there was nothing but the pitch-black darkness. But then, out of the corner of my eye, I noticed something. A quick, fleeting movement in the bushes lining my front yard. Heart pounding, I dialed the police, only to realize that the old phone had no signal. It shouldn't even be able to receive calls or texts. As I wrestled with my fear, another text came in. They're here. A cold shiver ran down my spine. I heard it then, the subtle creaking of my front door, then the soft, almost inaudible sound of footsteps on my wooden floor. They were inside. Another text. Run. I didn't question it. Scooping up the phone, I bolted from my room and sprinted down the back stairs. As I crashed through the back door into the chill night, I looked back only once, to see the silhouette of a figure standing ominously at my bedroom window. As I ran into the night, the phone vibrated with a final text message. You're safe now. They won't follow. Days later, when I finally returned with the police, the house was undisturbed. No signs of forced entry. No signs of the intruder. The only evidence of the terrifying night was the old Nokia phone, silently flashing with unread messages. As the police dismissed it as a prank, I couldn't shake off the cold dread. The old Nokia phone was more than a relic. It was a line of communication, a warning beacon, from a world that should have stayed forgotten, and I was its unwilling recipient.